Hi everybody. Welcome back to Jenkins Boat Works. I am Chuck Jenkins. And in this episode, we're gonna fit a strip in the top of the canoe, uh, in the football, so to speak. I've got several tips for putting the glue on a horizontal surface, uh, cutting the uh, exact angles to fit the strip, and uh, a couple other little tidbits that uh, may be of use and helpful to you. So uh, we are getting very close to the closing in the, the bottom here and uh, just very happy with the way it's going. So uh, anyway, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing or liking the video. Those kinds of things help support the channel. And uh, anyway, let's jump in and see what we're doing. I want to make a couple of uh, comments about cutting the ends of the strip to fit in to the next place. Now I'm going herringbone here, every other one, and so and my I've got patterns. So this is a kind of a clean, no grain type strip. This one had a lot of grain in it, similar to this one, similar to this one, no grain, a lot of grain. So I'm kind of doing an alternate thing with my, with my woods. And then I find my point where the, 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 where the front end has to meet up right here and also then where it, it matches here. So I make my marks on my strip and then we can cut those. Now, one of the things about this is sometimes it's really hard to get the saw to go, especially the longer the angle is, it's hard to get the saw to stay there. So what I started doing is taking my strip that just like that and lining it right up, just a little scrap, and lining it right up with my line that I drew. And then just like laying the saw in there right next to it. Now see it moved. You gotta you really gotta hold it down tight. Okay. Okay, so now once I got my groove in there, see I stayed right on that pencil line. Now that I got a groove in there that the saw will stay in, now I can take and put that little piece underneath there so that I don't saw the canoe. Because I have enough problems without making it worse all on my own. Just like that. And let's see how we did. Okay, it's a little bit long, but I did that on purpose. I'm gonna plane off this end, and we'll get that to fit right in there. Looks good. The other thing you wanna do is make sure that your strip is clamped down with these cleats so that, because I gotta go cut the other end. So you wanna make sure that, that it's, it's pretty much right on where it's gonna be going so that you don't cut it off short up at the other end. Okay, so now we're at the other end. This is the, the bow, the front end of the boat. And so here we are. We can see that it comes right to there. So we're gonna cut that right there. And now the point where we gotta fill in right here, we're gonna hold the strip right against that edge just like it was gonna be going in there. And then peek in there and see where, that, where the front end of that is and make our mark. Connect the dots. Okay. And I'm gonna hold that little strip right on there, right next to that pencil line, and hold it down just as tight as I can. And then we're gonna drag the saw across there. So again, right on the pencil line. Don't want to saw the canoe, so I'm sticking that little strip under there. Now see, this was a longer one, so you really do need to be able to guide that saw so it doesn't slip.
Beautiful. Let's see if it is beautiful. Ooh, look at that. Now that one fits right in there. Now I cut the other one long on the other end and that may prove to be a good thing because I'm gonna need to scoot this in here just a hair. Man, that's nice. Okay, so I pushed that one up just a little bit right up here and got it to fit in real neatly. We are on pretty much the football here in the bottom. And so I'm not having to use the robo bevel. Um, we're pretty, pretty straight on coming in here. And when I pull that dude down, I mean, it's, it's fitting tight, tight, tight up against there. So I'm good with that. And then I did have to push that one down a little bit and it just worked out perfect because now this one here is just laying right in there. So that's, it's dipped down a little bit right there. I'll pull that up when I glue it. The next thing we're gonna look at is how do you get the glue in here um, when you're basically on a horizontal surface? And so I, I figured out a little trick that I'll show you here just in a second. We're basically gonna pull this, this strip apart just maybe an uh, eighth of an inch and hold the glue bottle in there and just run the run our glue right down in there and then kind of push it back together to keep the glue, get it on both sides of the wood and keep it from all falling through. Okay, one other little trick I, I thought of too that I will, I'll show you is to, when you glue in your strip in the end here, pull that out of there easy so I don't break off the tip of it. I'm gonna take some tape come up from the underside and, and just put it in this V on the underneath here so that the glue will stay in there. The only trick to this is you gotta just reach up underneath here and do it. Okay, I can't really see what I'm doing when I do that, but I, I did it. I'm guessing. <laughs> Did I get it? A little gap right there. It's close. I still missed it. Okay, we got it that time. So now I'll just put my glue in here and then just sit that right down in there. Yeah, perfect. I'm just using this tight bond three. There is a tight bond no drip that I used on my canoe before, but I haven't been able to find it. I suppose I could order it, but I had so much of this, I've just been using it. So you put that on your edges like that, and then on the edges here, right? And then just put that in there. Yeah, it's going in there so perfect. Okay. That's nice. Okay. Now, I'll show you how I get the glue in in the crack where I'm going. So it doesn't just go all over the place. So basically, I just pull this apart, just, just a hair like that. And then you got a little part of your nozzles comes up and you just put it right in there and you squeeze it in there. And it doesn't take much, just like that. So 
So, you know, you just push on like that and it's right there. I go through a, a bazillion paper towels. All right, let's tape that up and then we'll, I'll glue the whole rest of it. I want a piece of tape on here to hold that top end down nice and neat right there. And if you didn't see that. Right, I'm putting the tape just right on top of there. Hold that down, push it down, stretch the tape, and there we are. Now, I also want to pull the strip, though, back tight against the previous one. So I'm gonna put some tape there, pull it, look for the squeeze out, and then lay the tape down, just like that. Do I need anything to hold that against the, the mold? It's laying down there really flat. I'm not gonna worry about that particular one. Pull, glue squeezes out, pull the tape, and there you are. That's good, is that good? Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.